scenario. Your family doesn't know, your friends don't know, but you are a dancer. You're a fancy pants dancer. Well, the pants, uh... Well, you start with pants. Do you know what I mean? Nobody knows, okay? You're just trying to make that bag. All right, let's get into it. Oh girl, you look gorgeous. You'll be given a variety of choices that will affect the story, we know. We're not super proud that we do this for a living, but we're here to make that bag. We're grinding from Monday to Friday, grind from Friday to Sunday, oh. Okay, so I'm in the dressing room right now, just getting ready. It was just a regular night at the Elite Diamonds Club. Every night before I performed on stage, I got really nervous. I'm here to make that bag. I'm good at it, but I'm nervous. Ugh, I'm gloom. It's time to change. What should I wear tonight? I'm gonna go with... Ooh, leopard? I mean, I am tacky. I'm just gonna go ahead and be a leopard queen. Look at me! I'm ready to go. I'm gonna make so much money. I'm wearing this. Ugh, this'll do. I I'm just, I'm not too proud, but let's get this darn night over with. I'm gonna slay. I'm gonna work. Oh no, it's my coworkers. This girl right here is Pebble. She's been working at the club for years. She's ancient. She's shady and extremely territorial. Whatever she says goes. When I first got a job here, she was like, <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like how she's younger than me. I don't like what she's doing here. The majority of the girls here highly respect her because she's been in the industry for so long. In fact, she's the person who started the club's popularity. Guys love her. Guys are obsessed with her. Even though she's kind to the other girls and doesn't have an issue with them, she really seems to have an issue with me. But I don't care. We live in a doggy dog world and I'm just here to make that money. Just like her and the others, we're here to make money, not friends. I do respect her hustle though, but as a person, no. I want those women to make money, but why are they mean to me? And this is Diamond Moretti, this young lady. She's the assistant manager, AKA the boss's wife. So very powerful. She's been running this business along with him for five years. And the relationship between her and her husband is insanely toxic. I always hear them arguing over something frivolous. I mean, who could blame her though? If I was married, I wouldn't be comfortable knowing that my husband is flirting with these dancers, especially in my presence. The other dancers mock Mrs. Moretti behind her back, but I feel sorry for her, I really do. Diamond hasn't given me a reason to dislike her. She just comes across as a really kind-hearted person. She knows how to run a club. Way better than Mr. Moretti. I bet he cheats on her all the time. I really don't like her husband because a few nights ago, I was just walking, minding my own business, going to work, telling my mom I was going to get groceries, and oh my God, that's Mr. Moretti. With pebbles! You are such a good kisser, babe. Not gonna lie, but you're the best I've ever had. Ew, Mr. Moretti! Uh, obviously. Just shut up and kiss me. Ooh, I hate them. I hate both of them. It's amazing how the ones that stab your back and smile in your face and then go right back to screwing you over. I know what you're thinking. I should tell her and put her out of her misery, but you know how these things work. You just can't. It's not my place to, she wouldn't believe me. Pebbles would lie. I do feel bad for her though. I hope one day she discovers her worth and leaves him for good. Hey girl, you look amazing. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Oh, look who it is, Cassandra, the new girl. Um, it's Gloom, it's not Cassandra. That's pretty close though. Yeah, Gloom, my bad girl. Hope you're not offended. No, not at all. <laughs> Just a little. Management duties away. I'll see you girls later. Bye, Diamond, I love you. I'm so sorry about your husband. By the way, I'm really loving your outfit. It's real cute. Where did you get it from? <gasps> That's the nicest thing she's ever said to me. I'm gonna thank her. Thank you, Pebbles. I got it at Pink Diva Couture. It didn't cost much at all. Certainly can see that. Back in the day, I used to shop there too when I was short on cash. <laughs> Good times, I'm so rich now. Oh, I should have known it was a backhanded compliment. It was shade. Ugh, of course it was shade. I gotta say something back. Think, think, think. What do I say? I need an insult. Aha, got it. Pebble hates when people speculate about her age. Oh yeah? Well, that must have been a really long time ago because I don't remember that shop ever being cheap. You dinosaur. Hmm, was that like 25 years ago? <gasps> hey, it wasn't that long ago. Are you trying to say I'm old? Because I'm not. Stupid, irrelevant breens. Whatever Breen's is. Checkmate, got her. <laughs> no. Yes. Oh, okay, sorry for the misunderstanding. Okay, this is getting really awkward, I'm leaving. I better go start making some money. I've wasted enough time talking to her. Well, Pebbles, I'll see you on the dance floor. <laughs> Wait, before you go, I just wanna mention that I love your shorts too. It really sucks in your stomach. Oh my goodness, girl, you are so rude. You should wear this outfit more often. It's like one of the only things that looks good on you. Oh no, she didn't. Do I clap back and humiliate her? Or do I respond with class and be the bigger person? I'm gonna respond with class because you know what? We're always graceful. Best revenge is our paper. Thanks for noticing, Pebbles. Anyway, have a good night. I'll see you later. Have fun being toxic for the rest of your life. Like, you'd think with as much money as you have, you'd be a little less toxic. You too, babe. I hate her. I hate her. <laughs> she so wants to be me.
I mean, I do, but like, come on. <laughs> Even the guys in this game are named Creep. Hey, beautiful. How about I take you home with me? Ew, disgusting. Oh, he doesn't even look rich. All right, it's my time to shine. I was surrounded by perverted old men staring at me. But hey, I'm here to make that money. Money, 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 money. Having strangers stare at you like you're some piece of meat was painfully uncomfortable for me, but I was desperate for the money. Although I had an unbothered and self-confident exterior, inside my heart was beating rapidly. I couldn't wait for the night to be over. I'm do doing the moves, doing the moves. I'm grinding. Oh, <gasps> somebody pinch me because I must be dreaming. Just take a look at all the girls in here, will ya? Ugh. This may sound insane, but when I die, I want to die here. Yeah, that would be a great send off. <laughs> Who is this creep? I think I'm in love with, uh... Hey, Em, have some self-control, will ya? Gawking at girls isn't part of the mission. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry man, it's just hard to concentrate. We are not here to entertain ourselves. Oh, come on, Shane! Idiot, don't say my real name here! We're undercover! Oh, my bad, uh, uh sorry, Ace? <laughs> oh, just shut up. This imbecile is really testing my patience. Oh, yeah! This song's my jam! Oh, yes, baby! Yes! 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 Will you stop goofing around and pay attention? What's wrong with you, dude? Nothing's wrong with me, I just don't think it's wise to throw away my hard-earned money at girls. Especially when I know I can see girls for free. Okay, Shane. What are you doing? Bobbing my head to the beat! They have a great song selection! Are you purposely trying to piss me off or are you just an idiot? Neither. <laughs> Why you always gotta be so serious? Just loosen up and push your morals to the side for one night. Morals shouldn't have an off button. That's how you make stupid choices. If you refuse to hold your guard up for a second, you could be a dead man. Wait, what are these guys here for? We're not here to party. We're here to find and collect information. I heard none of that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If you need me, I'll be at the bar. Lord knows why Johnny recruited this imbecile. Time to quickly move and then get out of here. Well, lucky for me, I'm dancing. I'm literally the dancing queen. I'm dancing around here. Hey, notice me. Gotta find some concrete evidence, but where? Notice me. I'm a pick me girl. <laughs> pick me. Maybe I should try squeezing information from one of the girls here. Smart. They do anything for money. Uh, rude. I'd like a private dance from one of your girls, please. Mm. Well, go inside and remember, don't touch them. Yeah, whatever, man. Is it gonna be me? Is it gonna be me? I need a way out of here. I need an escape. I'm sure I'd be happy at some other club, but not this one. There's too much drama. Hi, I'm here. Hey, handsome. My name is, um, what's my dancer name? Okay, I was gonna say Cherry, but that's a little generic. Gladys. Ooh. Hey, handsome. My name's Gladys. <laughs> attractive, isn't it? Nice to meet you, Gladys. Wow, he's actually kind of attractive. Weird. Attractive men don't usually come here. Hi, how are you? Oh my goodness, his face looks like it was carved by Greek gods. That bone structure and those piercing eyes. <gasps> oh, I'm not supposed to feel this way about clients. Instantly, I felt some kind of strong connection. It was a feeling I've never encountered before. He smirks as I nervously shift my eyes away from his. What's wrong with me? I do this every night, why am I nervous? The man wore an expensive blue suit and had amazing eyes, which gave me endless chills down my spine. Oh, he's looking me up and down. Oh. Hi! Dang, she's a killer body. <sighs> Quiet, Shane. Get a hold of yourself. Stay focused. Don't get distracted. Remember the mission. Time to question her. I'm not here for a dance. Excuse me? What? <laughs> then why'd you pull me off the floor? I'm trying to make money. I said I'm not here for a dance. Then what are you here for? Hello, time is money. Information. Information about what? Just about this club. I'm willing to pay you more than a private dance fee. And I must emphasize that it is a generous amount, an offer that anyone in their right mind wouldn't turn down. How much are we talking? I mean, answering a few questions beats dancing, so how could I possibly turn down the offer? Hopefully the questions aren't too difficult. Uh, okay then. <laughs> Atta girl. Don't call me that. It's woman. Yeah, whatever. So, what would you like to know? What's the name of your manager? Um, Tommy Moretti, right? Diamond Moretti? Yeah, yeah, it's Tommy Moretti. Correct? <gasps> oh my goodness, I'm being quizzed! Thank you, Gladys, but I have to ask another question. Go for it. Does Tommy Moretti have a wife, and if so, what's her name? Uh, can't you Google this? I mean, I know her name is Diamond, and he's a scumbag. Ask me about how much of a scumbag he is. Great. What was the original name of this club? I don't know that. It definitely wasn't Twerkaholic. I'm just gonna go with, I don't know. As far as I know, the club has always been called Elite Diamonds. Correct. Yes. Great, but I have another question. What? Don't worry, we're almost done here. Go ahead. What's your real name? Uh, listen, nobody knows that I work here. I can't, I already told you. You really think I'd believe your name is Gladys? Nice try, babe. Don't call me babe. Um, that's classified information. So are you gonna pay me or what? Oh, here you go. The man places his hand inside his pocket and takes out $250, placing it with the $100. Are you kidding me, 350 bucks? I mean, that's not like a life-changing amount that no one would ever 
turned down, but that's fine. He lowered his mouth to my ear, his breath hot against me, warming every inch of my skin, then bit his lip. You have beautiful eyes. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm Ace. Ooh, Ace Ventol? His voice is low, deep, demanding. Ooh, I like it. There's more of that where it came from. What do you mean? Are you trying to be my sugar daddy and get me out of here or what? I'm willing to pay you 3,000 bucks for more time with you in the VIP lounge. Oh. <gasps> okay, now that's the kind of money that I can't turn down. Like, hello? Why don't you ask me the important questions and only give me 350? Should I accept? Oh girl, I've got a lot of gems. I just gotta make sure Terry's not looking. looking. No, I'm not going. Okay, I accept your offer. Follow me, Ace. Dang, she sure is interesting, and I like the way she moves. Oh, Shane, you're already getting distracted. That's why I work here. I'm a professional, okay? And there's nothing wrong with being a professional. Welcome to the VIP lounge, the VIP lounge, oh yeah. It was really difficult for me to be confident in front of this handsome man. How the heck am I gonna dance with those seductive eyes on me? He was hot and had a self-confident exterior that was so attractive. Okay, Gloom, you can do this. Just dance and avoid eye contact. Just like you do with regular strangers, no biggie. So, are you ready? What type of question is that? Of course I am. Ah, right. <laughs> Stupid question. Uh, let's hope I don't screw this up. Take a seat. This is the kind of dance we do here. You don't have to dance. I'd rather you not, actually. Excuse me? I didn't pay you to dance. Oh! I can assure you that I'm not desperate like the other men in here. Just not that type of person. Oh, good to know. Uh, then why are we here? You seem a bit uneasy. Must be your first day. First day? What on earth makes you think that? You're very hesitant. I see your palms are sweaty and you're fidgeting quite a lot. Do I make you nervous? Absolutely not. I've never been nervous in my life. I'm here grinding. I know you're game, buddy. And if you think that you're entitled to a refund, think again. <laughs> Seriously? Why would I ask for a refund? You've satisfied me enough. What? what is this guy on? That mask you have on, can I remove it? <laughs> no! Excuse me, but removing my mask isn't part of the deal. Unless you plan to pay more, I'm hustling. Yeah. Money's never an issue for me, dollface. Would you remove it for 500? Good offer, no? Oh my goodness. You're very interesting. I'm curious to discover more about you. Why are you sweet talking me? I'm here Monday to Friday, Friday to Sunday. You can come in any single time you want. I gently place my hand on his chest and push him away as he came forward. Get away from me, you freak. I'm not who you think I am. I don't do favors for money, okay? I see what you mean. I'm not a loser, babe. I don't have to pay to get some. Right. So, which part of town are you from? <gasps> what? <coughs> Why do you want to know everything about me? Personal details about me are off limits, buddy. I think you're pushing your luck. Nobody knows I'm here. And it's not that I'm ashamed to be here. It's just the stigma. You know what I mean? Maybe I am pushing your buttons, but of course you don't mind. Excuse Kay, don't talk for me. You entitled idiot. You're lucky you're cute. Oh no, my enemy's here. <gasps> Excuse me, but this VIP section belongs to me now? Can't you see that I'm busy with a customer? Yes, but you've been in this room for a long time now and it's my turn. This gentleman paid thousands for my time and- Wait, thousands of dollars? Yeah, thousands, three zeros, yeah. Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Pebble. Get off of my turf, Pebbles! I'm one of the best dancers here. I can give you a dance and possibly something more if you like. Your wish is my command. Is she really trying to steal my customer? Sorry, not interested. <gasps> I didn't expect that. You're not my type. <laughs> Seriously, it doesn't get any better than this handsome. Seriously, I'm still not interested. Oh, you got owned, Pebbles! You got owned! You're lost. Even though I don't like Pebbles, I don't like how he's talking to her like that at her place of work. I mean, she did try to do a hard sell. I don't know. Wow, you showed her. She was conceited and annoying. I wonder how you put up with her. <sighs> I wonder that myself. I gotta go now. But we've just got here. It's fine. I have important things to attend to. <gasps> I got $3,000! Thank you so much! No problem. I don't know if I like this guy. I don't know if I hate this guy. All I know is let me escort you out and come back every night. Thank you. My number one customer didn't even have to lift a finger. That's what I'm talking about. All right, out you go. Oh, out you go. Hey dude, having a good time? Meet me in the car. Sure thing, but don't take too long because it's already hard leaving this place as it is. <laughs> oh wow, well they look like an intelligent duo. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gladys. Likewise, why did I choose Gladys? You still don't want to tell me your real name? No, I don't. Like who do you think you are? I've known you for literally 20 minutes. Okay then, I like a mystery. Enjoy your night. Ah, he's so charming. And thanks for your cooperation, babe. Stop! As he left, out of awkwardness, I shifted my eyes to the ground, avoiding eye contact. 
I had no idea what was going on, but the chemistry was insane. What is this feeling? It's not normal to feel like this about a stranger. Out of the corner of my eye, I sensed him flash a grin, expressing his breathtaking smile. He was there like, <laughs> ew, but I liked it. Bye, bud. He was very handsome and looked very powerful in his suit. Wow, is that Tom Ford? Uh. Then he got into his car and drove off. What was that about? I must be going cuckoo. I need to take a break. I need some orange juice. I need to hang out in the bathroom. My feet are killing me, these six inch heels. Ow! Get me in this bathroom. I need to wash my face. I need something, okay? I removed my mask and I looked into the mirror, scanning the tiredness of my eyes. I'm glad I made a lot of money tonight. I can't wait to go home. Oh, pebbles. Hey, Glitham, nice work out there. Oh, now you remember my name. Nice. What are you up to? <laughs> Nothing bad, just praising your hard work and dedication. The way you drop it like it's hot really amazes me. Right, why are you complimenting me now? I don't trust her. What's your problem? You seem very bothered. I'm not bothered, I just wanna be alone. What's your problem? Whenever I'm around, you seem kind of threatened, not gonna lie. More like the other way around. Glahoom, jealousy is a normal trait to have. Trust me, all the girls around me get it. I'm not jealous of you. I'm really not. Like, I wanna be your friend. I wanna work at this club together and have a bunch of girlfriends. <laughs> if you say so. Okay, can you like go away now, please? Do you have daddy issues? Excuse me. From when she said this, I saw the color red. Excuse me? What are you, what? My hands closed into fists and I crouched forward, daring her to repeat her question. What did you just say? I don't know, you just seem like the type of girl that comes from a broken home. Am I wrong, darling? Oh, did I push the wrong button? I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna kill her. So you're not damaged goods then? I don't know what came over me, but as soon as she muttered those words with her patronizing smile, I, do I punch her? Do I slap her? Do I punch her? Do I slap her? Okay, I'm gonna slap her because it's more like, get out of here. Get out of my way. Whoop. Yeah, that's what you get. Like you're my child. I'm dying. Oh, I feel bad. I, I feel really, really bad. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have kept my cool. What was I thinking? To be continued. Ah! I'm actually really excited for this story so far. I think it's really fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. I know I haven't done an episode in a while, but I was looking for so long for one that I thought was just really fun and interesting. And this one, you know, scratches all the things. It scratches all the things, all the marks, all the things. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye.